do I love refilming videos because people told me I was wrong about something fantastic. Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're going to be talking about some new Transformers toys that are up and coming that were revealed from Takara Tomy this time around. So that's fantastic even though someone did reveal the sideways pretty early on and I'll just quickly touch up on sideways there's not really much to discuss but what I like about this wave is it's a bunch of different things it's one thing from Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon and the 86 movie which by the way the RC yeah is the reason why I have to refilm this so anyways I, I said that it was the Earthrise RC redone but no apparently it's not anyways let's go ahead and take a look at sideways just quickly you know, nothing really has changed from my opinion, although I will say that the coloring here does look a little bit better. I do like the shiny silver and the dark gray here, but yeah, not really too much to really comment on. I will say that from the official photos, some people were suggesting that the head could be lifted up because they thought that there was some sort of hinge or maybe the early photos were mistransformed. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. It seems like the head is properly placed and it's low on the shoulders, which I don't necessarily mind. There is actually a render out there that's kind of drawn out of sideways that does look very similar to this. So I don't think it's that far off from what we can see from that. I, I think people and myself included just associate so much with that original deluxe because when you watch him in the movie, there's not really much going on. We see him in robot mode for like a very short period of time and he's mostly rolling around, so not really much to comment there, but I do like the gun. I think he looks pretty good, but uh, again, because we've seen him, not much to talk about. Now we're gonna move on to the Dark of the Moon Bumblebee, which yes, it is a remold or a repaint of these two Bumblebees from the 2007 Concept Camaro and the Revenge of the Fallen Camaro design. And some people are surprised and disappointed by that, and I don't know why anyone would be surprised. It's not like they're going to remake it from the ground up. I mean, Studio Series seems to follow through with most of their Transformers toys, so in continuing with that, why wouldn't they just continue the same Bumblebee that pretty much reuses a lot of the same features? Just doesn't make sense to me. But we do have this, and I do like the color of the wheels. The dark gray interior is nice. I do like the fact that they changed up the front. It does look a little more boxy around the sides. Maybe that's just me, but that's more like the Dark of the Moon design, or at least what I can remember. And you can see this little intake-looking design from the stripes, which is cool. That's, again, something from Dark of the Moon. His spoiler looks different, but the one thing that I noticed that feels off, and I'm not sure if it's in the film or not, or maybe I'm misremembering, it. Maybe it's from one of the toys, but isn't there some sort of netting on the window uh, on the side of the doors? I, I could have sworn there was something like that, but in any case, it looks fine. It, it feels a little basic, but otherwise it's okay. I, I think the yellow might be a little too bright, and you can definitely see the different tones between the painted. Even the hinges look different compared to some of the panels. And that's just typical with the yellow of, uh, you know, certain Transformers. Sometimes the paintwork is just very different in tone. But I think overall it's fine. And then take a look at his robot mode. And it does feature some more changes. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is that the cannon seems to be dark gray this time around. Which is good because traditionally they're in black. So I do like that. And the color scheme seems to follow closely to this Bumblebee. Compared to the Revenge of the Fallen one. Because it doesn't contain any of that silver or as much of that bright silver that that last one did and I wasn't huge on that bright silver I just think it was a little too flashy I, I think it's okay but not really my preferred choice so for Dark of the Moon they went back to a dark gray color scheme which I will note that for a lot of the Dark of the Moon Transformers figures they actually use darker, to uh, darker tones for most of the toys and I like how that's kind of continued here. The yellow does seem a little too bright for me, but otherwise I, I think it's fine. I think the dark gray does mute it a little bit. And another cool thing about this is it features a new middle chest piece where the two halves connect. And that's something from the original Dark Moon design. And then not only that, instead of the face mask version, they swapped out for the early um, you know, design for the head where it's just the face itself. And I'm happy about that because I feel like if we got another face mask thing, it would just be a little too much. So I like that they tried to do something different with this, and I, I do like that design. So I think overall it looks fine. And one good thing about the design here compared to the Revenge of the Fallen is if you look back at the car, 
there is a separation from the bottom part and that little section in the grill. Uh, unfortunately, on the original toy, it was just all painted black and looked weird. But in any case, this looks fine. And because I got the other two, I might as well get this. Now, here's the thing that I'm kind of bothered by and kind of happy at the, at the same time. This is the Studio Series 86 RC, and when we heard rumors about this, we heard that it was just going to be the Earthrise RC, but with sunglasses, and that doesn't seem to be the case. What's interesting about this version of RC is that it's not the Earthrise RC. It is the original Generations RC that's been reworked and redone. There's a couple of changes to it. And to that I say, I'm happy about that because they're not going back to that Earthrise RC because a lot of people were complaining about that, so you can swap that out. But it's unfortunate because now I have that RC and it's like, well, if I get this, then there's no use for this, pretty much. This exists just to be trashed on at this point. But I like this. I, you know, I, I, I like the design. I like how it kind of slims out on the sides there. I think that's pretty cool. I think that the colors kind of blend a little too much here, but if we compare it to some of the other images, maybe the lighting is just too bright here. I don't know exactly, but it's got a nice Autobot symbol on the top, uh, sorry, on the top there. A little bit of gray on the side, and I think the white's a nice addition, so that looks pretty good. And then we take a look at the robot mode, and again, I would like to see a bit more coloring in the legs, but I do like the fact that she's got the pink and the gray, just little touches there, and I think the sculpting is fine. I do like, by the way, the fact that the chest is actually formed from the front of the car rather than just whatever they decide to do with this. And she's got proper gun this time around. Now, it didn't seem like she came with the blades, but considering this is a Studio Series 86 figure, I don't feel like the blades are really particularly necessary, so I don't think she has a, a use for that. I will say that, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have the original Thrilling 30 RC, but it does look like the backpack has changed quite a bit. It doesn't look like, I believe there was this front piece that would just hang off the bottom, and I'm not necessarily seeing that here, but someone correct me if I'm mistaken on that. It does feel like it's different compared to that. I think the head sculpt is fine. I think that she has a slightly different tone for the face, which is good because this was all white and it was just weird. So I'm happy about this figure, but I'm disappointed by the fact that I feel like it's a little late and we already have this. In fact, this released twice over. It released in the Earthrise line and it released in Kingdom. So more people probably have the chance to get that than this. Ugh. But uh, with that out of the way, that is pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.